Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here continuing along with our matrix creation. I'm in the lead uh, combinator, and I'm going to select um, number f pattern number five, which is our chord pattern, our chord progression here, and I'm going to remove, I'm going to reduce this down to one eighth resolution. And this way it's going to match it up with the other resolutions for the track, which is one eighth. Um, and in that respect, that's pretty good. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create, hold down the shift key, create a matrix, another one, and then hold down the shift key again and create a spider CV merger splitter. I'm going to loop this around. I'm going to take the curve CV. I'm going to send that into the split. Um, then I'm going to take one split. I'm going to go to the first Thor. And if you hover over it, it's going to open up. I'm going to send this to the amp level. I'm going to keep the trim knob at 64. I'm going to also do the same thing for the other two. So let's take two more splits. I'll we'll put it into the amp level of that one. And we're going to take another split, put it into the amp level of that one. And what this is going to do is it's going to cause this matrix here to trigger the amp envelope, or the amp level, I should say, of each of the Thors in the lead. So if we play it out, there's not much of a beat right now, but if we turn it to curves, That just gives it a little bit more of a, a beat to it, to the actual beat. Okay. So once we've got that, we're going to move on to the pads, the pad section. So let's just keep the matrices open for now. Let's close up the Thor devices. We're pretty much done with the lead. Um, so I'm going to close that up, and I'm going to close this up, and I'm going to create a new combinator. And inside this combinator, I'm going to create a Thor. And underneath the Thor, I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to create a unison device. And underneath the unison device, I'm going to create a reverb, advanced reverb. And now I'm just going to start shaping just the pad sound. So let's just solo the pad sound for now. OK, we'll call this a pad. And we'll also delete the rotary labels. And we're also going to delete the button labels. And we're going to start to generate our pad sound. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a matrix here. We're going to select Thor, and then we're going to create a matrix pattern sequencer. <laughs> Okay, right now it sounds very um, high voltage because we've got this reverb in there. So let's turn the reverb down. Um, let's also create a bit of a smaller pattern. We'll create this pattern to be about eight steps in total. We'll put on the tie feature and we'll just have this be a little bit, just a tie pattern like that. We'll turn this off this be a tie there. So this is going to sound like that. Okay, which is what we want. However, so far. So now we just need to create our sound. I'm going to use a wavetable. Reduce the pad sound a little bit. I'm going to take another wavetable. I'm going to bring this down to 10 signs. And I'm going to also create a phase modulation. No. I'm going to create a multi-oscillator. Bring that down to linear. Select that. Have one and two going through here. kind of bell-like. OK. 
Okay, we'll also create another low pass filter here. Actually, we'll keep the res down here. We'll turn the res up here. Now we're gonna have to make it pad-like, so you want to have the decay and sustain pretty high. Have high attack, high release. Okay, that's starting to shape shape up a little bit. We we'll turn on the shaper, turn this down to hard clip. Turn the position up. take I'll just turn this off for a second now what we're going to do is we're going to take that third oscillator we're going to send the amount about 40 or so and the destination is going to be the amp audio input okay and that's okay we can also use a formant filter now let's see how that sounds Okay, we're also going to modulate that formant filter. We're going to take, um, let's see, let's take LFO2. Um, actually, we're going to reduce it. We're going to reduce the Y axis of that third filter. But we're going to have to remove the, reduce the rate. And we'll sync it to the tempo. Okay, that's starting to sound pretty good. We're also going to take LFO one. And we're going to reduce a little bit the resonance of us of filter one. And that's going to affect this resonance value here. We're also going to turn on the tempo sync. And increase the rate a little bit. Turn on the tempo sync value of the mod envelope. And the mod envelope is going to affect, let's see, the mod envelope will affect the mixer one and two balance, this balance knob here. And that's going to reduce it so that only oscillator number one is going to go through when its, when its value is lower. And then we can start playing around with the mod envelope a little bit. So turn on the delay. And we will also send the, where's the mod value again? Uh, mod envelope, we'll send that to, let's see. Where was I gonna send that to again? Now I have to think about this. Um, we want that to affect, well, first we want to send the envelope up a little. Okay, and this is going to affect the panning. Um, but I think we want the LFO2 to affect the panning. So it's going to go left to right. And now we've got a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent pan. Let's hear how it sounds with everything put together. Uh, we've got to turn on.
open up our uh, programmer for the um, reverb. We're going to change this to a spring reverb. Um, we're going to move the length down just a smidge. We're going to turn on our EQ, and our EQ is going to be um, the low end is going to be lowered a little bit. Uh, we'll move that out a little, and the high or the boost we're going to give right around here. Let's just hear this soloed one more time. So somewhere around there. Okay, so that's our reverb. together. Okay, and once again we can copy this pattern. So that's pretty much how you build the pattern. Now the other thing you can do is you can apply some um, modulation to the mod wheel here. So to do that, let's um, let's see what we're going to take. We are going to um, well, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll do that in the next tutorial because we're running out of time here. So that's the basic pad sound. Uh, come back and I'll finish up this pad sound and start moving on to do a couple of other things in the song. Thanks for watching. Again, come visit me at uh, reason101.net, and my name's Rob, and um, there's going to be more to come. Thanks for watching.